And it's important to note here that no firearm was ever recovered in the investigation that followed these four murders. Today's witnesses testimony, one of the prosecution's best shots at now convincing this jury that it was Laren Garcia who fired that gun. In court Tuesday morning, Department of Justice forensic specialist Nancy McCombs took the stand, testifying to the jury about the weapons-related evidence collected from the 2019 murder scenes. McCombs told the court multiple bullet casings recovered could have come from the same gun, although no weapon was ever found. McCombs determined the gun was a 9mm semi-automatic handgun, similar to this one, as all the bullets were 9mm, though manufactured by different companies. Analysis of the marks imprinted on shell casings were similar, she said, indicating they were fired from the same gun. Prosecutors say bullet casings found inside this Toyota Corolla, in which police say three of the victims were shot, match casings that were found in Laren Garcia's car. In a search of Laren Garcia's Cathedral City home, police found a bloodied shirt and 9mm ammunition. The defense argues only blood spatter links the defendant to the crime scene, and the lack of a murder weapon is a big hole in this investigation. Monday, another man the defense is arguing committed the murders, John Olvera, denied his involvement. And remember, the jury here needs to be convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that Laren Garcia is guilty, something that some might argue is difficult to do without any direct eyewitnesses.